What's up people, welcome back to the channel. So today me and Millie, we're gonna go exploring, we're gonna go for a little walk around. Uh, not the whole of Tenerife obviously, but we're gonna go walk Tenerife for a bit. Um, go see something we haven't seen before hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. We've missed breakfast, but we don't really care. We had pan chocolates up here for a reason. Um, so we've had that in for breakfast. But, oh, I just need to get a t-shirt on, some socks under my trainers. Millie's already ready, and um, we're off to do some exploring. It is so peaceful, all you're hearing is the waves crashing in. You see like views like that behind you. It's just, it's so peaceful and quiet. I feel like just jumping the fence and having a look. Yeah, there's actually two people down there. I've just, I'm not, I'm not jumping the fence. I've just, I've just stood on it. Back at the room, um, I've just dropped everything off. Now me and Billy are going out for lunch because obviously they're serving lunch now. While well, I have my strawberries right now. <laughs> But yeah, this is our last lunch of this uh, holiday. It's sad, but when you put it in perspective, we've got a cruise in 98 days from now, which is three months and a bit. But in three months, we'll be on a cruise, Spain, Portugal, and France. So don't worry if you're interested in holiday vlogs and traveling, make sure to su subscribe because we always go. Millie's finally decided she wants to go out for a walk. So we're going to try and find a place we haven't gone to. Probably go a different like way around, if you will be. But yeah, we'll see what we find. So we just walked up that massive hill, our hotel's like all the way down there, but there's a hill that stretches up. And look at that view. But me and Millie were just talking about how like, even though it's not sunny, it's still boiling, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it is, I'm sweating my tits off. We've come from like all the way up there, and we've just realised we've come a different action. So if you like watch my vlog yesterday, we stopped there, we went back, and that, that up there would be the supermarket. And we just came from the other direction. But Millie wants to keep on going down this time, don't you? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep holding your hand because I don't want you falling down the hill. Because um, they are very steep. They are very, very steep. But no, honestly, we've just walked the whole way around this area. We've never been down here though, so we're gonna try and see what, what's going on and hopefully some shops. We haven't found one yet. We're back up here again. We found this section. And then Millie, Millie doesn't mind walking all the way up this road. See if it goes around there instead of around there. So we'll see. We're gonna walk all the way over there. We have found loads of shops over that side behind us. We've just been in one on this side that was like actually quite a nice shop. Then you got Loke over there. And the best part is, I'll show you when we get closer to it, but we have found something very cool. Look at what we found, the black ashy beach that everyone is on. And sadly we found it a bit too late because it's the last day that we can do stuff. And I just realized I'm hanging my camera right on that. Oh. I'm a bit queasy even holding my camera there, so yeah, I ain't doing that. Right over there is a pirate ship. I found Captain Jack Sparrow. It's literally there. Just beneath, just over these rocks. Look, look at these palm trees laid out right in front of the Black Sandy Beach with the water. That is an amazing photo. Like, try and not get the people in it as much as possible. That is a really pretty photo. So we really just found literally the supermarket we normally go to at near our hotel. There's one there. And we found two new flavours of Fanta. We found the uh, pineapple and exotic. The green one exotic. Um, so, which one do you want to try first? Should we keep the pineapple one? I feel like this one's going to be better. Okay, keep that one. I'll hold the bag for you. But if you look, we have a whole lineup of shops all the way across. So we're going to go check all these out. I need a key ring for my keys. Like on the way, I'm always getting a key ring. That's why my keys are so like dense. Um, yeah, we're going to check all these shops, and hopefully we find me a key ring, some presents for home from the fa for the family. So yeah, let's go. So we just stopped at a gelato place, I've got Bailey's uh, ice cream, Millie's got Oreo, as normal. We forgot to put sun cream on, especially Millie, and she's gonna burn, she's got nothing on, so we gotta get home quick. All the shops are behind us, we've gone through them all. Millie bought a couple um, ankle bracelet things again. What else did you get? Is that it? I think so. think so, we think so. That gelato place we just left, it was gorgeous, honestly. It was really nice, I'm glad Millie suggested it. But now we're off back. Our hotel is actually, that little slanting tree, it's just under there, all the white buildings. Um, I, I don't know why I keep on showing you things in the far, far distance, you probably can't see it all. Me and Millie got another taste test view with the, uh, with the pain now, oh, you just put it all over you. <laughs> with the pineapple uh, fat knock on. Give me that face reaction. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy. That's good. It literally just says like pineapple juice, but fizzy. But fizzy. <laughs> what did you expect? 
Look at this view, boys and girls. Look at that water. It's so beautiful. It's so hot. Maybe I just want to jump in from here. Not literally from here, but we, we want to jump in. I just turned the aircon on because we've literally just got back in it. It's absolutely boiling. Oh, I'm sweating. What time is it, ma'am? We left it at like. 20 to 5 and we left at what, half 12? Maybe, no, 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 because we had lunch now, because it starts yeah. at 1. Probably like. About half 1. Yeah. About half 1, so we've been out for about 3, 4 hours. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, I'll take my shoes off. I need to get into bed, not into bed, but lay down. I don't know what we're doing with tea, but then we've, oh, we've got a pack tonight. Mm -hmm. We can't really do much. Like, busy, busy. So we need to pack up and make sure that everything's packed, because. We don't have enough time in the morning to pack unless we work at like six in the morning. We don't want to do that. So yeah, we got packed tonight, which is sad that that's that's gonna make this vlog boring. I just quickly uh, went and got me and Millie some uh, well snack. Um, I got myself two hot dogs because why not? And a little ice cream. Millie's got an ice cream in the fridge. That's why I don't go. She right. She's not eating all this. I doubt. I just got her chips because she wants chips. I got a pork as well. Some ketchup and milk. Before you say I forgot salt. Me and Millie are now just ready to go downstairs and have something to eat. We're quite hungry, Millie especially. She's been begging me for about half an hour. Get ready, get ready, haven't you? I take on quicker, get ready. Because you start getting ready an hour before me. No. <laughs> yes. But we're gonna go downstairs get, get we're, in, oh, we're gonna go downstairs to get some food right now because it's our last thing, which is really sad. <laughs> are we gonna wake up early tomorrow? What how early? Dunno, but we need to make sure we do wake up. Mm, we do because we keep like setting alarm for eight and we wake up at, like nine or ten. <laughs> I forgot to film all of it, but there's my dinner. I should have got gravy. I didn't know there was any. So we just finished up dinner and all that. As you can probably see, we're <laughs> we're packing back up and everything, making sure it's all done. We're putting all our electronics and all that on the bed, and I'm going to take them my carry on with the passports and that. While Millie's just packing up all the clothes and that, and folding them all up. I've got a sort of system going. I'm sorting out all the legal documentation while she's folding. Legal? She's yeah, like documentation, passports. It's legal. It's to do with the legal system, the law. And yeah, we're gonna get the packing done before we do anything. We just wanna go look at views today because I've got a minor, minor headache going on at the minute. I've just taken, taken an ibuprofen tablet, so it should be all right, but we just, we wanna chill out today. We can't really go drinking much because we don't wanna get fucking tipsy for the flight home. Do we? No. Could you imagine? <laughs> we won't wake up tomorrow. Didn't I tell you, we love them. <laughs> We already had like two, I've made a bin over there and we've, had, we've got two packets over there in the bin, maybe even three, and we've got five more. But all in all, I think we're even going to go back and get some more because honestly they're so good, like, the only way to get them in England is to uh, order them in. But, uh, how much go borrow some now, eh? Yeah. There's a lad doing karaoke, like quite a big lad, he, do, he does it quite a lot of nights to be fair. We are done. We are done. If you check these wardrobes, nothing. Check the middle. Nothing. You shut over there in the hangers. Nothing. What are you doing? Oh. You've still got stuff in there. Otherwise, other than Millie there and our toothbrushes and that, which should be here, uh, we are done. We are done. I will show you. So, we have our two suitcases there full, stacked up. I've got my lock for my suitcase. I've got, uh, that's Millie's like thing to say like that's where she lives and stuff like that. Um, I've got that which is the suitcase like weight lifter thing to see how much they weigh, which is all good. We've done that. Rubbish bin. That's Millie's clothes for the airport tomorrow. That's my clothes for, for the airport. My phone, wallet and this camera that I'm using right now is going to go in there and I'll have that on me. Don't need them anymore. We're going to have sweets and drinks for tonight. Merely, they're all on my side to be fair. Yeah, got, oh, there's a fountain in that fridge for you. So you put it on your side. And yeah, we're all ready to leave, sadly. Obviously, we've got the rest of the night though. So me and Millie, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> this took us an hour. Um, near enough an hour and a half. It's half nine already. Um, and also, we have to get sort of a semi good night's sleep because we've been going to bed about 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning now and again. And we woke up at like 10, which is really bad. We almost missed breakfast quite a few nights. We've missed breakfast twice. Yeah. And we almost missed it two more times because we only made it with an hour left. So, yeah, we just need to make sure we go to sleep kind of early. I'm going to conjoin these uh, days together. So this vlog, this today and tomorrow, so our trip home, I'll um, put that in this vlog as well. Because I don't see a point in doing a separate vlog for it. Yeah, other than that, we're all done. We're going to go to the supermarket because Millie wants to go get some more of them football crisps. I literally just showed you five packets of. Because we just love them. Like... My brother hasn't had any in years, like when we used to live in Spain, like he hasn't had any since like ages and he loves them so I'm going to bring him some of them because we were brought up with them. Introduce Millie, she loves them so she wants them at home, more than one packet and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got some for me and my mum because my mum likes them too and my dad. 
got some frames. Oh, I might actually buy some more as well. So yeah. we've both got room in our suitcases. Yeah, and I ha oh, can't put them in a hand on luggage. Move stuff out of the suitcase and put it in the hand luggage. Exactly, I've got a lot of room in that duffel bag. So like, if need be, I'll move some stuff out of, out of our luggage just to fit all the crisps in. But we actually need to be quick, so I need some waffling because the store shuts in. Nine, 20, 29 minutes. So we need to quickly jog down, not jog down there, it's like two minutes away. We need to quickly go down there, make sure we get some more of them crisps. Maybe a snack? Yeah, some plants. Yeah. Millie's sitting there talking about the cruise, but um, we'll talk about <laughs> that in a minute. While we're in Tenerife. While we're in Tenerife, she can't get enough of just holiday. holiday. She just wants, wants, wants this one, this one, this one. I can't wait either, well, but 98 days? Worse, being worse than me. Sort of. Even. 98 days, and I did say to her, I wouldn't mind booking another holiday in between now and the cruise, because we've got a three month span. Yeah, it's really bad, isn't it? <laughs> we are really bad. But no, um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You never know. But we're talking about excursion on that. I just want to let you know that we've just bought three more packets of them bloody um, the football things, the football uh, Cheetos. Cheetos, yeah. God, that's just so good. If you ever see them, trust me. The reason we're buying those is because they're lush. Go get some of your own. Okay. You, can't, I've, you can't get them in England. You just but they're can't. They're worth the Amazon order. Yeah, they are worth the Amazon order. Mm. She's right. And Prime. Get them the next day. We're just heading back to our hotel. We're going to go get a drink from the little hut near the pool. Go back to our room. And to be honest, guys, I don't know what we're doing. Um, you might not see me until tomorrow morning. You might see me again tonight. I don't know. Oh, I don't like being boring. And to be fair, we, just, we do look boring because we don't go out just partying all night and stuff like that. It's but it's not us. Like We like chilling out, vibing out together, just having a nice time. Eating food, drinking, having a couple of drinks out like cocktails and that like you've seen. We don't like getting pissed out of our heads in a foreign country where you don't know what could happen, you know what I mean? So you gotta just use your head when you're in places like this. But honestly, um we didn't look at the views. But you don't want to walk back, do you? I don't mind. Is it worth it? We'll be able to see anything. We probably won't be able to see anything. Okay. Unless we wake up early tomorrow morning, just oh, look at it one more well, time. Well, Transfer tomorrow, we'll see those. Yeah, but our transfer's at 10.20. It ain't bad, but we have to wake up semi early. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't know, it's just, um, it's not worth the risk of, like, you know, <laughs> as bad as it sounds, you know, you, you're around strangers. At the end of the day, they could be as nice as possible as you, you're still around strangers, so you just gotta be careful and look out for yourself and whoever you're with, like, uh, to be honest, if anything bad happened to Millie or I on holiday or both of us, I think. Blame would be put, put mostly on me Why? just for the fact because she's the more not innocent but like vulnerable, if you get what I mean. Oh, oh god, so many sexists are going to comment on that, like, oh, why? Why? No, but it is true, you do it look is. after me on the day, but you have to, that's just how it is. But yeah, I've got green snaps with lemonade and coke and Malibu. Really got exactly the same. Considering we just bought some more packets of crisps, three, three more packets, Millie wanted two for her house, so she bought two. I bought one more, so I've actually got six packets in my disposal that I, <laughs> I don't really know why I've got six. I've got my dad's, my mum, my brother, me. I'll take that. <laughs> Will you take it back? Yeah. I might give you one, yeah, if you're lucky. <laughs> if you're nice. But yeah, other than that, Tenerife has been absolutely amazing. I recommend coming to Tenerife. If you want, well, if you want to know what um, hotel we stayed at, it is Tamaimo Tropical, isn't it? Globales. It is Tamaimo Tropical Globales, right? I'll put it down in the description below. Um, I don't know why, but our room number is 251. Obviously, we're not going to be here if you have a gun, but our room number was 251. Um, honestly, big up 251. I love thinking of the room name because it's like you never know who was here in this room and who's going to be here after. And if you if you ever come back, like imagine like asking if you stay in the same room, they say yeah, and you just think of years ago when you were here. Anyway, sidetracked massively, but yeah, we were in two five one Tomamo Tropical Globales. Um, look it up. Yeah, no Tenerife is good hotel. Good hotel. I rate it. It says three star. Don't know why. It's actually a four star, isn't it? It's three point eight star. Three point eight. Okay. <laughs> so it's only got three stars, but it's four. Essentially, like, if you come here, trust me, it is way better than three star. Like, way better. It, it all got um, renovated last month, didn't it? Yeah, last we're actually lucky. Millie found it because it it got a brand new redo last month. It, like to be fair, if you look up the past photos, it is a bit weird. But honestly, like, I don't think there's any new photos of it. I mean, if you look at our room, look how 
it is lovely in here. Like, it is. Like, we've got a nice, it's a decent sized TV. Our bathroom I've shown you in our first ever vlog. So if you haven't seen the first vlog of Tenerife, go watch it. I'm not going to do another room tour now, so you have to go watch it. Like we say a million times, 98 days, we are on a cruise. Popping the shoulders. Oh my god, I guarantee she's gonna cut that out. <laughs> guarantee it. No, I'm really sorry, I'm filming it. Okay? You're gonna be fine. Oh, it's broke. Right, basically, I finished that clip and I shut the doors, I made sure they're both locked, and I shut the curtain, and all I heard was a little squeak noise. Uh, fat cockroaches on the curtain, and I went, Millie, don't look. Like, she, like, she didn't know what happened, and I just went, go to the toilet, don't look, don't worry. She went to the toilet, she's hiding there now. And then I told her, obviously, when she was not safe, because they they're kind of harmless, but look. Oh my fuck, it is fat. You can see if you want to come see. Oh, it's going to skin the bean. What was it? Oh, was it up there? Up that. Okay, Christian managed to get rid of the cockroach without killing it, luckily. Um, was it a cockroach? Because I didn't look at... I'm pretty sure cockroaches don't fly. Yeah, I think they can. I don't know, it was massive. I need to stop swearing, I don't want to be demonetised, but it was <laughs> massive. I don't even think my camera picked up how big it was, but it was huge. Um, yeah, but basically what happened was I literally came over here and um, Millie was like, can you close the curtain so I can get dressed? So yeah, obviously. I, this curtain, this right one, I literally just swung across and I heard a little, I shit you not, I heard a little squeak. And that's why I went, <gasps> and you went, what? And I looked up and it just crawled all the way up the um, curtain. And I looked at it and it was huge and it's that little antenna thing so you know how it senses were like very long. Like, put it this way, I went to go catch it with this cup, which I failed, but um, it didn't fit in that cup. That round bit, that's how long it was. Um, I ended up just hitting it with a pillow, I'm not going to lie, I'm <laughs> animal cruelty. Um, I hit it with a pillow a couple of times and it ran in between my case, like the two cases on the floor. So I had to kick my green case and it just, like, I had both um, patio doors open and it just ran across the floor and I followed it from behind, just stomping my feet to act like it could hear me. I don't know why I did that. I was literally stomping my feet like that behind it and it just ran straight out and that's when I slammed the door. I think I almost broke the glass to be fair, but it's all right. Mate, he's playing banging songs. I want to go out on the patio, but there's probably about 10 cockroaches out there, so I'm not. I think this is going to be like the last vlog of the night, but obviously I'm not ending the vlog. I've got the whole travelling home sequence to do now, so um, yeah. So guys, we have a long day ahead of us. As you can tell, it's the next morning. We've just gone and had breakfast. Uh, checked our luggage again. It's all fine. It's all dandy. Um, but we've got about 40 minutes till we have to go downstairs and wait for our bus. Um, because it's 9.20 and you have to be like 15 minutes early and stuff, but we'll go there 20 minutes early. Um, but we have a long day ahead of us. We got, we woke up at 8. I got out of bed at half 8 to be fair. We went for breakfast. <sighs> then we have to catch a transfer at 10.20, which is about 45 to an hour to the airport. Which would take us to about 20 past 11, maybe even 11, if we're lucky, 11 to 20 past 11. Then our flight is at 1.45 now? Yeah. 1.45, so we have to wait there for a couple, like about two hours. And then that flight's four hours, so we don't get back to Britain until 5.45, so... Oh, what a long day of travelling today, it's, uh, but it's got to be done. I keep on, I've done this all holiday, just going up to that window thinking you've seen what you've got. But yeah, we've got a long day ahead of us, um, a long day of travelling. I think me and Millie are going to be absolutely knackered when we get home. Luckily, to be fair... I haven't got work tomorrow, you have. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that sucks for you. I haven't got work tomorrow so I can relax. I'll probably sleep most of the day, so we'll see what happens. So we're leaving the room. It's upsetting, I know. We'll make sure I've got the card. We've got nothing. Let's just do all the double checks, make sure we're not leaving anything useful. I'll do all your final checks, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not good when you get home when you think I've lost my charger. Um, you got your charger in that? Yeah. You want to take them sweets? No. Leave the sweets here. Anything on the balcony but that cockroach? No, not what I say. We are all good to go, Mel. Mm -hmm. Nothing in here. That change can stay there for the cleaner. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go check out and I'll get back with you when we're done. That. We got on the transfer. Our hotel was that one, like, the white one just next to the bar cello. Like, 
there. <laughs> so we just went through the passport and like the luggage check stuff, check-in, that's it. <laughs> and now we're just going to quickly do our like um, security, security uh, walkthroughs and checks. So I didn't, I need to take all my cameras and that out, but we'll do that now. So we've just been duped through duty free and I just bought three bottles of alcohol. I got um, vanilla, vanilla, <laughs> vanilla cinnamon baileys, espresso, uh, espresso something, espresso cream baileys, which is like a coffee baileys and uh, 43 liqueur, if you haven't seen it, look it up, it's a really nice bottle, that's for my dad. Uh, he's not going to see this until I'm back and I've given it to him, so well done dad, there you go, I hope you're happy. Um, and then Millie's just gone back and bought some bellies for our parents and some sweets for me and her dad, so. We quickly just stopped the Burger King, got some just little chicken nuggets, we're going to eat on the plane, drink on the plane, but we just, we're quite, we want a snack and we're quite hungry, so we need to eat this and get to the gate in about 20 minutes. The gate closes in 20 minutes. Well, we get there soon then. <laughs> What a difference this is, eh? I'm, I'm back home home. So, me and Millie arrived at uh, Gatwick Airport yesterday around, what, 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Her parents were there to pick us up. We went back to Millie's house. Uh, we got to Millie's house about 9, about quarter to 9 p.m. Quarter to 9 p.m. Yeah, 9 p.m. Um, in which we literally just went to sleep, really. We, I was knackered. I went to sleep. And now, it's... 9 a.m. the next day and I'm home so yeah to be honest I didn't feel much of the flight me and Millie didn't really do much we just slept and played I played a couple games on my phone like Sudoku and that I downloaded them just for the flight there was this lovely old woman on the plane to be fair who bought these scratch cards like on some planes you can buy scratch cards she bought these scratch cards and she was sitting to my left and her husband was left of that me and Millie I was like here the aisle was there like next to me on my right and she was the first seat there but um this elderly woman, she bought like seven scratch cards in which two of them she won a discount of six pound. Oh, loads of shopping. Like vouchers on the ship. And Millie saw this moisturiser that she wanted, but we decided she's not gonna get it. So then this woman turned around, about to the end of the flight, and she was like, by the way, do you want these like vouchers? Because I'm not gonna use them. I don't, I look through it, I don't want anything. And like me and Millie for like half an hour discussing if she wanted them or not. And she was like, yeah. Like I was, she was like, yeah. So this old woman basically gave Millie six pound off of like all these beauty products, which is a lovely little gesture of that woman. Like, bless her. But yeah, other than that, we're home safe and sound. Uh, just waiting for nine to six days of flyby so we can go back on a holiday going on that cruise. I'm going to end this vlog here. If you're interested in travelling and perm videos and stuff like that, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to make this 2.5k as soon as possible. And then after that, the 5k milestone. We're growing this family quick and you know it. I hope you enjoyed the Tenerife holiday with us. I tried to vlog as much as possible so it just acted like you were with us. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, leave a dislike and explain why because obviously all the feedback is very appreciated. It does help me become better at YouTube better quality of videos for you guys as well and yeah i can't wait to see you in the next vlog peace